Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by three different ways. By using quadratic formula, by factoring, and finally by completing the square. And now, very fast, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. And here is the quadratic formula that we will be using. And now we need to find out the value of A, B, and C. So therefore, I am going to compare this given quadratic equation with this standard form. And if we compare these two equations, we can see that our A is going to be 1, B is going to be positive 34, and C is going to be negative 72. And here is our quadratic formula and let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So x is going to be minus and b is 34 plus or minus square root of then 34 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is negative 72 everything is divided by 2 times 1. Let's simplify furthermore. So that's going to give us negative 34 plus or minus the square root of 34 square is 1156. And here negative and negative become positive 288. All right divided by 2. All right, let's do furthermore negative 34 plus r minus. If we add these two numbers, that is going to give us 1, 4, 4, 4 divided by 2. So that is going to give us negative 34 plus r minus the square root of 1444 is going to be 38 divided by 2. So x equal to this much. Now we are going to split these signs positive and negative. So the first one is going to be negative 34 plus 38 divided by 2. The other one is going to be negative 34 minus 38 divided by 2. Once again, 1 with a positive sign and 1 with a negative sign. And now as we are running out of space on the left hand side, let's move to the right hand side. So this is going to become 4 divided by 2 and that is going to give us x equal to positive 2. On the other side, that is going to give us negative 72 divided by 2. That means x is going to be negative 36. So thus our solution set turns out to be a 2 and negative 36. And now we are going to solve this quadratic equation by factoring. The very first thing let's look at on the constant on this right hand side as you can see negative 72. So we are going to put this negative 72 on the top of this x factor and let's look at this the coefficient of x is positive 34 that is going to come at the bottom of this x factor. Now our task is to find the factors of negative 72. So those two factors, if we multiply them, that's going to give us negative 72. And we, if we add them, we're going to get 34. So those two possible factors is going to be a 2 and 36, isn't it? And now the only thing is we need to fix the signs. So these sign first one is going to be negative 2. The other one is going to be a positive 36. Now we can see that these 
2 are our factors negative 2 and positive 36 if we multiply them we are going to get negative 72 and if we add them out we are going to get 34 and now since we are going to solve by factoring I am going to put down these two parentheses always you put down these two parentheses since this is equal to 0 I'm going to put equal to 0 since we are dealing with the x variable so I am going to put x in the left hand side in first parentheses and x in the second parentheses as well and our two factors are negative 2 first is negative 2 that's going to go in the first parentheses and then the other one is positive 36 is going to go in the second one so these are our factors and now since these two factors equal to 0 I can separate them I can say x minus 2 equal to 0 the other one is going to be x plus 36 equal to 0 that means our one of the solutions is going to be x equal to positive 2 the other one is going to be x equal to negative 30 6. So thus our solution set turns out to be a 2 and negative 36. And finally we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. So the very first thing we are going to make sure that only we have x variables on the left hand side that means this constant must go on the right hand side so we are left with x square plus 34 x equal to positive 72 on the right hand side and one more thing just keep in your mind that the leading coefficient of this x square this one over here this must be 1 and it is indeed 1 let's move on to our next step let's focus on this the coefficient of x which is 34 I am going to write down 34 right up here and I am going to divide this number by 2 always divided by 2 so that is going to give us 17 and finally we are going to square that number all right so now whatever we got this number 17 square I am going to add this number on the both side of this equation so let's go ahead and write down x square plus 34 x plus I'm gonna leave some space and 72 plus and now I am going to add this 17 square on both sides all right and as we, we can see on the left hand side, this part, this represents a perfect square. Therefore, we are going to use this fact. a plus b squared equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So I can write this one as x plus 17 squared equal to 72 plus 17 square is going to be 289 so x plus 17 square equal to 72 plus 289 is going to give us 361 and we want to undo this square so we are going to take the square root on both sides let's do that one and now this square and square root they undo each other they cancel it out we got x plus 17 equal to the square root of 361 is going to be positive or negative 19 so once again you might be wondering why did I put down positive or negative the reason is we are dealing with the quadratics so now since we want to solve for x so I'm going to move this positive 17 on the right hand side so x is going to be equal to negative 17 plus or minus 19 all right now we are going to split these numbers along these positive and negative signs the first number is going to be 
negative 17 plus 19 the other one is going to be negative 17 minus 19 so first with a positive sign and the second one with a negative sign so therefore our first solution is going to be 2 and the second one is going to be negative 36 so thus our solution set turns out to be 2 and negative 36 and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.